All right, so we're going to stop. we got four Opt, because Opt is just really good, especially with a Wizards deck where you want instants and sorceries. Four Merfolk Trickster. You know, I love I love this thing. It's a great way to... Uh, that's the first time I've really taken a look at that art. Uh, it's a great way to slow your opponent down, make a difference. Nabon, Dean of Iteration. I'm a huge fan of Panharmonicon. A lot of you might know that. And so Dean of Iteration is kind of Panharmonicon-ish, a little bit. Uh, so only if a wizard enters the battlefield does it double trigger, but there are some wizards here that that makes a difference for. Two lightning strikes, three lightning stormkins. All the creatures in here are wizards. Two elite instructors, because I like drawing cards. Uh, and this is also one of the first cards that I will sideboard out for another card that I will almost always sideboard in, but I don't play main deck, and I'll explain why in a minute. Exclusion Mage, that's similar to Elite Instructor. In both cases, they're trig they're, they have ETB triggers that are impacted by Nabon. Elite Instructor, draw a card, discard a card. Exclusion Mage, return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Doing double duty with Nabon? Awesome. Uh, Wizards allow me to retort. Uh, double blue, usually in this deck. You're usually casting it for a double blue, which is still, it's not a cheap cost, and it's been stuck in my hand, but it's still a great card. Wizard's Lightning, almost always just single red. Fantastic card. Uh, again, yeah, great card to play in this deck. Three Deputies of Detention because it's a wizard, and it has an ETB effect that, of course, is powerful. And so if you have a Nabon out, you can take two of their non-land permits, and I did that playing against Dusty. I took his lone creature and his um, thousand year storm which was just just super powerful at least the cinder winder uh, human wizard flying haste and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell which we have a number wizards you control get plus one plus one till end of turn icon of ancestry one of all always one of my favorites when i'm playing tribal uh it's an artifact creatures you control the chosen type which we always choose wizard Gets plus one, plus one. Of course, you can look at pay three to look at the top three cards uh, of your library, and you may reveal a creature card of the chosen type from among them. Put it in your hand, put the rest in the bottom of your library in random order. So that's a nice way to fill up a go find another wizard. We have just the one Arumeha. Four mana is a little much in this deck. Uh, it's not a little much, but it's, it's high end. Uh, but this is fun, and I, I did cast this when I had, when I cast, I think it was an opt. Um, which was nice. Cast the op, then you cast Nauramaha, do op twice. If you've got a Nabon out, do it multiple times. It, it, it could just go off and be really gross. And then we have two elite guard mages, uh, which is a 2-3 flying when it enters the battlefield, draw th gain three and draw a card. And again, if you've got Nabon, that does that twice. I just have the two because, again, it's at the high end of the spectrum. We have 23 lands, which isn't bad. I think it's 23. Yep, yeah, 23 lands. I wouldn't want to go any more. Might consider going one less. And then our sideboard. Uh, Graft Digger's Cage and Soul Guide Lantern to deal with uh, stuff in the yard. I'd be tempted, actually, to go up to a second Graft Digger's Cage and drop the Lantern. Um Two Lava Coils, three Dovin's Vetoes. All right, so this is the card that I will always bring in, but I don't play in the main deck, and it's the Meddling Mage. Reason being, you don't know what your opponent's playing, usually, unless you're playing against deckless. So I'm fine with just leaving it in the sideboard. Pull it out for games two and three. If I play best of one, I might consider it, but it's tough to shoot in the dark if you play, have to play it on turn. If you play it on turn two... It it's, loses its value in a best of one. The Royal Scions, just one of, but it's great for drawing extra cards. And then two Shadow Disguise and two Time Wipes to clean up if your opponents are going too big. And that is the Jeskai Wizards deck that we're playing today.